with the possible exception of C, there's perhaps no vitamin more frequently discussed than the sunshine one, aka vitamin D. It's no wonder, vitamin D is a workhorse nutrient. According to the National Institutes of Health, among its functions are strengthening bones, absorbing calcium, and bolstering immunity. There's an expectation that vitamin D is a miracle drug, and that if we all just take megadoses of it, it will solve all problems. Watch on to explore the facts and some common myths about vitamin D. Myth. The more vitamin D you get, the better. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, and so it goes with vitamin D. While it's rare to get too much vitamin D, it's not that it can't happen, and this situation of vitamin D toxicity has serious health consequences. The most common way this happens is by taking too high a dosage of vitamin D supplements. Vitamin D increases calcium absorption, and therefore toxicity is marked by a buildup of calcium in the body. When choosing a supplement, check the IU on the bottle. Ideally, consult your doctor for a blood test to identify whether you need a supplement in the first place. Fact, getting out in the sun helps your body produce vitamin D. It's called the sunshine vitamin for a reason. When the sun's ultraviolet B light hits you, it turns a chemical in your skin into vitamin D3, according to Harvard Health Publishing. Vitamin D3 is transferred from your liver to your kidneys, where it becomes an active form of vitamin D that's usable in your body. Most people get some of their vitamin D through sun exposure, according to the NIH, but factors like the season, time of day, cloud cover, skin pigment, and sunscreen affect how much vitamin D a person can synthesize via the sun. For example, the NIH notes that people with darker skin aren't able to produce as much vitamin D through sunlight. Myth. It's easy to get enough vitamin D through food alone. Getting your vitamin D fix solely through food isn't impossible, but it can be tricky because few foods contain ample vitamin D. Excellent food sources of vitamin D include fish, such as three ounces of salmon or a half cup of white mushrooms exposed to UV light, according to the NIH. But among the most common vitamin D foods eaten in the United States are eggs, cheddar cheese, fortified foods such as milk and cereal, and portobello mushrooms. These foods cover only a fraction of the daily value for vitamin D. Fact, having low vitamin D is linked to a bad mood. If you're feeling low, you may want to get your vitamin D levels checked. According to a study using rat brain cells published in July 2018 in Genes and Nutrition, vitamin D seems to play a role in the production of serotonin. Serotonin is a hormone that helps regulate mood and sleep per Stanford University. There are correlations between low vitamin D levels and mood disorders. What's more, a study published in September 2017 in the Journal of Diabetes Research found that a vitamin D supplement improved the mood of women with type 2 diabetes.